गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास चैप्टर नाइन फ्रैक्शंस स्टूडेंट्स इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट लाइक एंड अनलाइक फ्रैक्शंस लाइक फ्रैक्शंस आर दोज इन विच डिनोमिनेटर्स आर सेम इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न सम ऑफ टू और मोर लाइक फ्रैक्शन वेन वी एड टू और मोर लाइक फ्रैक्शंस दैट इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ द न्यूमरेटर्स अपॉन कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर लेट एस सी हाउ In our first question, we have to find out the sum of one by seven and four by seven. As denominators are same, therefore these are like fractions. So what we do according to the formula? First we have to add the numerators. Here numerators are one and four. Add these two upon the common denominator. Here common denominator is seven. So four plus one is five upon seven. So five by seven will be the answer. Let us take another example. In second question, four by fifteen plus seven by fifteen plus two by fifteen. Here also denominator is same, so these are like fractions. So first of all we add the numerators. Four plus seven plus two upon the common denominator fifteen. Let us add. Four plus seven is eleven plus two, thirteen. So sum is thirteen upon the common denominator fifteen. So sum of these three fractions is thirteen by fifteen. So this will be the answer. There is another type of question, or we can say another form of question. We have to add nine by sixteen and five by sixteen. First. of all write the numbers as 9 by 16 plus 5 by 16 after that the method is same as before 9 plus 5 whole upon the common denominator 16 9 plus 5 14 upon 16 this is the answer i think you are able to do the sums So let us continue the next part. Here we have to add three fractions: two by twelve plus three by twelve plus five by twelve. Now add the numerators: two plus three plus five whole upon the common denominator twelve. Two plus three, yes, five, and five plus five. Ten upon twelve. So, sum of the given three fractions is ten by twelve. Now let us learn how to represent sum of two fractions on a number line. Students, in our exercise thirty one, we have already learned that how to draw a number or a fraction on a number line. So let us start with that. First of all, draw a line, and we know that line has No end point. So we put two arrows on the both side of this, right? Next step, name the line as x and y. Mark one point O, which will represent zero. Here the denominator is eight, so this zero will represent zero by eight. Now, students, we know that denominator represent the total number of equal parts. Here denominator is eight, so we will mark eight equal parts on this number line, equal to the denominator. Point side zero of the scale with zero of the line. Then mark points one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, just equal to the denominator. now the fractions represented by these marks are this is 0 by 8 1 by 8 2 by 8 this is 3 by 8 4 by 8 5 by 8 6 by 8 7 by 8 8 by 8 where the numerator and denominator becomes equal that point is known as a and oa represents one unit right 
now we have to add 2 by 8 and 4 by 8 so we start from 0 first we will represent 2 by 8 0 and where is 2 by 8 here so first we move from 0 to 2 by 8 right now we have to add 4 by 8 in it so move 4 steps ahead 2 here is 2 4 steps when we move 4 steps ahead then we will reach on 1 2 3 and 4 we will reach at 6 so this is 2 by 8 and this is 4 by 8 so by adding 2 by 8 and 4 by 8 we get the answer 6 by 8. Here OB equals to, we can mark this point as P, OP plus PB, that is 2 by 8 plus 4 by 8 equals to where we reach 6. So OB will represent the sum of these two fractions as 6 by 8. Students, now I hope you are able to do the sums of exercise 36 yourself. This is one of the examples. So, this type of question is not in your exercise, but you have to learn the method of adding the fractions on number line also. Thank you and have a nice day.